This video will walk you through the steps to link Lifecycle Services with Visual Studio Team Services. VSTS has recently evolved to Azure DevOps. As a result, the procedure has changed. First, let's go to LCS. We choose the project and we click on Setup Visual Studio Team Services. Here you can see the procedure. So we'll first go to visualstudio.com and here either you already have an account and you can definitely use that or you can click here to free Visual Studio. And then we will click here on join now. Now that we are here, we will choose this one called Azure DevOps and get started. Okay, so now we are here. I already created an organization. So it's likely that you will have to create an organization uh, unless you already have one. So let's create a pro uh, project uh, for linking the Visual Studio DevOps uh, to the LCS project. So I just gave a random name, I leave it in uh, private. And here I want to click advanced and change to team foundation version control. And I go on and create the project. Once the project is ready, it looks like this. So you will notice that this URL will not be accepted because it's not on the form org.visualstudio.com. However, I can easily transform it to uh, this format that is supported. So I take just a notepad and I will take this format here. this URL and here what you see just after the azure.com uh, is the name of the organization and you replace by the name of your organization this URL is valid so I go and take this URL Put it here and then I need a personal access token. To find that, I need to go back here to Azure DevOps. I will click here, security. And here there is a section called personal access token. So I will go on and create a new token. Give it an expiration date and be, make sure that you select the same organization as uh, the one you've uh, chosen for your uh, project to sit in. So now that I have done that, I can just go down the page and click on create token. So 
So now you have to copy this token and don't forget, it will not be stored. So you have to copy this token now, otherwise it will be forgotten and lost forever. So in case you lose it, you can just uh, delete the token and create a new one. Now that I have this URL and the personal access token, I can click on continue. Okay, and now I can, I can find my project here. Uh, if it's not available, <clears throat> it's probably because you didn't click on advance and select uh, the right versioning control tool. Um, so please go back and create a new project. <clears throat> so here I select uh, this project and this proves that the link is uh, created correctly because otherwise uh, it, uh, LCS would not be able to uh, fetch the project name here. So there I can just do uh, continue, review the settings, save. And here it is. Now, the last step is to click on authorize so that you have access from LCS to VSTS. So you're redirected, so you click on yes. Okay, so let's see. Full access to resources, accept. And now you can see that the link is made. So now I will click on set up Visual Studio Team Services. To verify that the configuration is complete. 